Hello everyone, my name is Mrs. Vishaka Sherke. I am working as Assistant Professor in Department of Computer Engineering at Universal College of Engineering. Uh, in today's session, we will see how we can resolve the fact using propositional logic. Uh, th this is just a revision where we have seen in the first session how the knowledge based agent work with the per given perception. Okay, it tells the knowledge base what it perceive and it asks the knowledge base what action it should perform. The inference engine is the component which will uh, which applies the logical rule in the to the knowledge base and it derive the some new information. These are the rule which we will use to if you want to represent the given sentence in the propositional logic. Okay, if our sentence includes negation, then we will represent the not symbol. If our sentence combines the two different facts, then we will use the conjunction. If our sentence consists of if and then clause, then we will use the P implies Q sentence. Okay, if 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 our sentence consists of if and if only if and only if clause, then we will use the by condition. Next, once we have used the proposition logic, we can apply the through this rule wherever it is applicable. Before uh, proving the fact with the help of resolution, we have to convert the given propositional logic into conjunction normal form. So these are the rules which are helpful for converting the given facts into CNF. Okay, the first rule is that we have to remove the by condition. Okay, so P implies Q and uh, Q implies P will be the uh, so representation of the given fact. If it is, uh, if you want to remove the implication P implies Q, it will be not P or Q. If it is a neg negation, then apply that negation symbol inside, so that becomes not P or not Q. Okay, because this negation is applied inside, that conjunction becomes the disjunction. Then, if you want to use the method of resolution, you have to use the proof of contradiction, where you have to cancel the proof which are contradicting each other. After simplification, if you receive the empty clause, then it means that whatever you have assumed is the wrong thing. Okay, so the fact can be proved. Uh, see this example. Okay, here in our example, uh, there are these three facts are there. Uh, first of all, Toby is hungry. Second fact is if Toby is hungry, he barks. Third is if Toby is barking, then Bunty is angry. Okay, so for uh, what we have to do here, we have to prove the fact Bunty is angry using resolution. So for that purpose, what you have to do here, what uh, we have to convert this sentence into propositional logic. We have to convert that propositional logic into CNF and we have to prove the fact using proof of contradiction. First of all, identify the symbols which we can use for the propositional logic. So in the first sentence, the the sentence is Toby is hungry. So we can assume one sentence, one uh, symbol P for it. In second sentence, if and then comes. If Toby is hungry, we have already assumed the sentence uh, symbol for it. He barks. So Toby is barking. For that we will assume the sent assume the symbol. In third, if Toby is barking, then Bunty is angry. So for Bunty is angry, we will assume the sent symbol. So we will we will use these three symbol P Q R in the propositional logic. A simple symbol is enough to represent the fact. So P represent Toby is hungry. Q represents Toby is barking. R represent Bunty is angry. Now, with the help of this symbol, we have to convert the sentences into propositional logic. Our first sentence is Toby is hungry. It is a simple sentence. So, we will use the P symbol as it is. In second sentence, if Toby is hungry, okay, he barks. If Toby, if and then part. So, if Toby is hungry represented by the fact P, he bark represented by the Q. So here in this if then part there is the implication. So how you will represent this term P implies Q. If Toby is hungry he will bark. Okay. Third if Toby is barking Bunty is angry. Again Toby is barking the sentence Q represent Toby is marking and R represents Bunty is angry. As here there is if and then clause Okay, if then that's why we will use the implication. So, with the sentence will be Q implies R. Okay, now we have re uh, converted the given sentence into propositional logic. 
our next is uh, next step is that we have to convert this fact into cnf okay so our first sentence is p second sentence is what uh, it's a simple sentence so this fact will remain as it is in our second sentence there is implication and the cnf in the rule of cnf we have to remove the implication by the formula not p or q okay not p the first term negation of the first term conjunction with the uh, other term similarly second third sentence q implies r becomes not q or r okay uh, now we have to uh, prove the fact with the help of resolution bunty is not angry okay we have what uh, uh, what fact they have asked us to prove they have told us to prove bunty is angry and as you are aware that it resolution works with the proof of contradiction so we will assume bunty is not angry okay so that will be represented using not r now you have to in resolution you have to consider the terms which will cancel each other in the resolution we have the first term that is not r okay so what you will do now it means you are saying bunty is not angry which term you have so that this this uh, sentence will be contradicted so in the third sentence we have not q or r so that we will use for this resolution so here not r and r which is repented using the blue color will get cancel what fact is remaining here not q is remaining here okay here you are saying bunty is not angry bunty is angry uh, and here you are saying bunty is not angry so these two terms contradict each other so that's why they they, they get cancel in the resolution now we have term not q okay which means that toby is not barking okay so we have can we cancel this term so in the second sentence we have not p or q so we will use this for the resolution so we'll take not p or q so here tob here you are saying not q and q will get cancelled you are saying toby is not barking you are saying toby is barking so this contradict each other so it will get cancelled what term is remaining here not p you are saying toby is not hungry hungry but what fact you have with you you have a fact toby is hungry okay so this fact cancel this term okay what you what is remaining here we are it here it is remaining empty clause so it means that whatever you have assumed is the false okay what you have assumed bunty is not angry you have assumed so which is false so bunty is angry this fact is proved okay uh, so let's uh, see another example uh, another example is if it is humid okay the first sentence is it is humid second is if it is humid then it is hot third is if it is humid and hot then it will rain and what prove the fact that it is raining using resolution okay so what we will do here first of all we will uh, assume we will decide the symbols which we can use here okay so let's see this symbol we will assume p for it is humid q for it is hot r for it is rain it will rain okay our first sentence is it is humid so the p will be as it is okay in the second sentence okay in the second sentence if it is humid then it is hot okay so what if it is humid matlab if then part comes so there will be implication so what will be the sentence here if it is humid p then it is hot then p implies q in the third sentence okay there are there is the conjunction there are two conditions are together if it is humid and hot then it will rain okay so what we will do here p and q implies r so this is what the representation of the given fact into propositional logic now we will convert this fact into cnf in the cnf the first and first sentence remain as it is in the second and third sentence we will remove the implication so the second p implies q will become not p or q p and q implies r becomes not p and q or r 
Now take this negation inside and simplify the fact that becomes not P or not Q or R. Okay, so this is what the CNF we are having with us. Now what the term we have to prove? We have to prove it is raining. So by the proof of contradiction, we will assume it is not raining. That will be represented using not R. Now we have to consider the terms which will contradict this particular uh, assumption so in the third sentence there is the term related to r so that we will take for to cancel okay so see this resolution so the first here we are saying it is not raining and we have the third sentence with us which says it is raining so this uh, the terms which are cancelled in this resolution is repented using the blue color he uh, these are contradicting each other you are saying it is not raining here it is saying raining okay so this will get cancelled so what is remaining then not p or not q okay this term whole term will remain as it is now you have you want to contradict either not p or not q so you have okay you have uh, this term with you that in the second terms where we can cancel the q that is uh, it is uh, okay it is hot uh, here you are saying it is not hot so these terms will get cancelled and the term now here not p and here also not p as i discussed if the same fact is there you have to take the common fact okay so the common term common means you will take the same fact only once okay so not p will remain here okay this not q and q will get cancel here not p or you can simply not p conjunction uh, conjunction with not p is nothing but the not p only so uh, so the not p uh, it means it is not humid but you have a fact it is humid with you so this fact cancels this contradiction what is remaining here now there is empty clause as you are getting empty clause it means whatever you have assumed is wrong so you have assumed it is not raining is false so the fact it is raining is proved okay so let's revise what we have done here so first of all for the given question we have assumed the symbols okay in the propositional logic a simple single symbol is enough to represent the fact then we have represented using the propositional logic okay in the, so first is normal it is humid if it is humid and uh, then it is hot that why it is implication third is if it is humid and hot it will rain so we have used the conjunction here we have converted it to the cnf formula and we have uh, we have used the resolution method to prove the fact okay the fact which are contradict each other get cancelled and we get if we get the empty clause it means whatever we have assumed is the no uh, we is the false so the fact is proved uh, please join the query doubt solving session after uh, listening to this lecture and um, thank you for attending this uh, session of aiml technique thank you